And welcome again, dear friends, to the Wednesday edition of Fresh Bread. It's Christmas week. Of course, you know that, that it is December 22nd, 2021, Wednesday. Hey, don't forget at 5.30 tonight, if you can possibly make it for the last of our Advent Vesper services over at Kansas Avenue United Methodist Church, 1029 North Kansas Avenue. We're going to have a little light bite there at about 5.30, going into the service around 6. It'll only last 45, 50 minutes or so. We're going to have some good Christmas music, some Christmas carols. We want you to join in and sing along. It's a great time of year to do that. And then don't forget maybe some sharing, a short devotional message. It'll be a real good service, real uplifting, I believe. And I want you to come. If you're a member of Oakland Church, please know that you're invited. We want you to come. We're uh, wanting these churches to do more things together. That's just the way it needs to be because, of course, I'm serving both churches. I can't be at two places at once. So we're doing it over at Kansas Avenue. We've got a few more folks over there at this time, and we want to let that be the launching pad for some of these services. But that certainly doesn't mean that Oakland folks aren't welcome, and we want you to come. So if you're from Oakland and you're hearing this, please join us, would you? And uh, make this a special evening tonight. It's the last of our Advent services. You would be welcome. We love having Oakland folks over at Kansas Avenue. Just just like we like having Kansas Avenue folks come over to Oakland. And then don't forget on Christmas Eve, 4 o'clock at Oakland, Itawa Northeast Chester, and over at Kansas Avenue at 6 o'clock on Friday, Christmas Eve evening. Hey, one other thing. We... We'll have some more of the brochures, those little flyers, hopefully, that if we didn't get them all passed out on earlier this week, we're going to have those ready to go on, uh, let's see, tomorrow night, or Wednesday night, Thursday. Uh, we're going to let you take those home with you. Uh, take them home and, and then pass them out to people in your neighborhood. That's what we want you to do. So just go next door and just say something like this to your neighbors or, or to people at, at, at the store. Hey, I don't know if you're going to Christmas Eve service on Friday night, but we got a really good one here, and then you can have them either for Oakland or Kansas Avenue. It's very non-threatening, just giving that piece of paper. On the back side of those papers, we have all of our service times listed. <clears throat> okay, so uh, I want you to invite those friends, and I'll, I'll probably have mentioned this on Sunday. I record this now today as uh, Saturday, uh, December the 18th, 2021, so I'm, I'm recording these in advance. But hopefully on Sunday, I'll remember, hopefully, <laughs> to in- encourage and challenge everybody to take some of those green sheets and to uh, pass those out in their neighborhood. Even take two or three. Give uh, everybody. I'm challenging everybody to take at least two and, and invite two people to Christmas Eve. I, I guarantee you what, folks, a lot of people don't know where to go on Christmas Eve. That is a given because of the small percentage of people anymore who even go to church, let alone who have a church home. Uh, so we want them to feel like they can come. We want to go get them downstairs or in the library after church in Oakland, downstairs at Kansas Avenue after the service. For our little fellowship time, we'd like to meet them, and we'd like to let them know who we are, and let them know we care about them, that the church is here for them, and we'd like to invite them to come back if they don't have a church home. So anyway, let's let's make a concerted effort to do that. It's not going to be real um, a big, huge organizational situation where we get training on what to say. No, just be yourself and just invite them. And and people will respect that. Okay. Well, let's go ahead today, starting with Luke. I'm going to finish up these last few days here by looking at the gospel of Luke. So King James Version I love says, For as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us, even as they delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word, it seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things for the very first, to write unto you in order, most excellent Theophilus, that you might know the certainty of those things wherein you have been instructed. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abia. And his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. And they had no child because that Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, According to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of the incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zechariah, for your prayer is heard. And your wife Elizabeth shall bear you a son, and you will you shall call his name John. 
and shall have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Spirit even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall turn, shall he turn to the Lord their God. Well, we're going to finish this up or continue it on Thursday, so don't you dare miss it. We'll be back tomorrow for more Fresh Bread. Until then, God bless you. Have a great Wednesday.